gifts. They were absolutely amazing. We had a really great trip. So I just wanted to go through really quickly, A, riding gear, what we wore, and then B, what we packed and how we packed it. Um, so, and again, this was a 10 day trip in Ecuador. So fly-in trip, we came in with all this gear. So for my riding gear, I'm riding with a Climb Cryos helmet. Um, and I always wear goggles now with my helmet. This is a new development for me in the last year, but I really like it because there are moments in between when you want your uh, shield up, but I don't necessarily want to get bugs in the eye when that's happening. So the goggles really help with that and also with uh, dust off riding off road because I'm typically behind Pete since he's navigating. Um, then I've got force fuel with body armor, uh, both for my knee pads and my uh, adventure harness. That's an EXK adventure harness. I've got some Revit Gore-Tex gloves there, which are absolutely primo. Love those things. They're like my third pair of them. Got our new Basilisk riding kit. This is actually um, the very first salesman sample prototypes that we had. So these have been well worn, uh, this kit of mine. And then a uh, Moscow base layer and riding jersey. So that's kind of what I wore. Oh, and then my CD boots that I'm wearing still. Um, this time I rode with a backpack, which was a new new thing for me. I used this Kriga, what is it, an R15? Really love this thing. I'm gonna be using it in Africa as well. I super enjoyed having it. Um, I kept everything that I wanted to have with me when I got off the bike on this, in this, so that uh, it was just already there. I didn't have to unpack anything when I was going inside of a cafe or around a market. And then as far as what I had on the bike, I rode with a Reckless 80 during this trip. Um, I used our version 2.0, Pete was testing the 3.0. So in my Reckless 80, in the rear bags, what did I carry? I've already unpacked a couple of things, so I don't have that in the video. But I've got a, uh, a tube that I was carrying, a rear tube. That was in one of my side bags. Uh, but then I had some tools in the rear pocket there, and I was also carrying this emergency Nemo, sorry, this emergency Nemo, uh, mattress in case we got stuck out camping or uh, had to stay in a room that didn't have a bed or anything. So let's see what else. Oh, and then I use a small molly pouch on the front of my Reckless 80 to carry a uh, safety, uh, I'm sorry, a first aid kit. I always keep that on there. Whether I'm using backcountry panniers or Reckless 80, I just move this molly pouch uh, from kit to kit and it's got a full first aid kit in there. Uh, in this rear pocket, what do I have? Oh, uh, I put my, this was a new thing too. I did my toiletries in a separate, I used these Eagle Creek packers. Um, I did uh, my toiletries in here and just kept it back there. It was really slick. I liked it. Um, let's see, sorry, I'm kind of popping around here, but my Pico tank bag, I just kept some small items, my wallet, some Listerine strips, headphones, chapstick, all that good stuff, business cards and stickers. Not too many things in there. And then my cell phone, but we're using that right now. Okay, so then to the big bags, I'm just gonna pull things out really quickly and show you what I brought. I have this Dekine pack here that has some smaller items, my Kindle, uh, extra set of headphones, stuff like that. These are souvenirs that I got for people, so I've been carrying those around for the last few days. <laughs> uh, down jacket, Marmot, what is it, a, I don't know, it's like an 800 fill down jacket. And then I brought this Rumple, go Rumple. If you haven't heard of Rumple, check them out. They're super awesome. So instead of a, an emergency sleeping bag, I brought this guy. Um, on to the next dry bag. Oh wait, I forgot a couple things in there, sorry. <laughs> um, I brought a pack towel, a big one, and then I brought a pack towel uh, that is uh, washcloth size. Sometimes we stay either in someone's house or in a room that doesn't have like sanitary washcloths or towels or whatever, so it's really nice to have these things. And then an emergency bivy sack. It's made by Survive Outdoors Longer. I would like to survive outdoors longer if I get stuck, so I brought that thing for emergency camping. Uh, this is my deluge rain jacket and pant, which will, I think, be coming with the Basilisk riding kit. Uh, these are waterproof, breathable layers for when you're in really heavy torrential downpour. So definitely had those with me on these, this trip and needed them. Camp shoes. Another Eagle Creek packer with my clothing inside of it. Uh, this is underwear, beanie, I don't know, stuff like that. Underwear, beanie, and gloves, cold weather stuff. And then this, embarrassingly enough, is full of dirty laundry. <laughs> so yeah, that's like my biggest item in there actually. Wow, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> um, let's see. 
So this is my Stinger 22, which goes on the side. Sorry, those were my two leg bags. I don't know if I mentioned that, but those are the two side bags that go on the Reckless 80. Um, I'm a little scatterbrained right now, apparently. This is my gimbal case so that stays up in the duffel so that if I fall, it doesn't damage the gimbal. This is my Dekain lunchbox. <laughs> and this is also a new addition to my kit. So I carried all my food inside of here uh, during this trip. Thanks, Sarah, by the way. I really loved having this thing on this trip. It was so nice to, uh, to be able to not squish all of my food just in a bag and it get, have it get all nasty during the trip have everything kind of stowed away inside of its own contained bag. That was nice. Um, more toiletries. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm sorry, I'm taking a long time here, but I just want to show you guys. This is my camera kit. How cool is this? All of my camera gear fits inside of this little tiny bag. And no, I'm sorry for anyone who's going to ask. We do not make this bag. This was an early little prototype baggie of something that Andrew made. Um, tripod, how cool is that? It's so small. Selfie stick, of course. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Just anyway, this is my whole camera gear. There are four lenses that fit inside of this tiny little case. Struman Optics, I think this is an Australian company. Fucking love these things. It's so awesome. It's really, I can't say enough good things about it. It's been so cool to have a, a little camera kit that kind of turns my cell phone into more of a DSLR. So, enough about that. Almost done here. Uh, I've got some bulletproof coffee packs because, well, you know, you gotta stay bulletproof when you're on the road. Um, tea and coffee and another Eagle Creek packer. I have a lot of bags. Pete mentioned the other day, it's a good thing that we make bags because clearly I like them. <laughs> I have about 15 bags on this trip. And then my quad lock case. I'm not sure what that's doing in here, why it's not on my phone. But anyway, that's all. That's all my stuff. Uh, I, I did bring some hand warmers. And then I have a plastic bag. This is really important. Always carry a trash bag with you so that you can pick up trash. Not just your own, but pick up other people's trash, guys. Try and pick up at least 10 pieces a day. And if you don't know anything about this 10 piece challenge thing, check out Outdoor Tree. And you can learn more about it. Anyway, that's all. We had an awesome trip. Thanks for listening. And uh, subscribe to our channel, please.